This is Wayne Rogers from Gold Tone, and I'd like to show you how we mount a calf skin, an unmounted calf skin, um, on a vintage Orpheum banjo pot. And if you watch the tape carefully and uh, follow the instructions, it's not really that much of a task. If you've done it a few times, it helps, but if you watch the video, we're going to show you today how to do that. Uh, the first thing I've done is I've got the old head. This happens to be an old Roger head, Roger's head, and I've taken a taken a razor blade and actually scored around the entire head to release the stretcher band, which we're going to reuse on this orphan. And we'll go ahead and take off the old head. Under that calf skin, once you use a razor blade, you find a brass ring. Now, if you don't have the brass ring, you can use another type of ring, which on the second video we'll show you later. So that's coming out pretty nicely right there. And then I see they've put some sort of backing tape on here. We're going to go ahead and take that off. Okay, I've removed the stretcher band and it's a nice brass square rod. And as you can see, uh, sometimes they're soldered, but this particular one is not soldered. So what we're going to do is just take a piece of masking tape mass that together so it forms one round ring. And that way when it goes over the rim, it'll stay together better. Okay, we've completely disassembled the uh, part from the neck. And what I'm going to do now is remove the majority of the hooks and just leaving four of the hooks on there. Uh, the less hooks you have when you start out, the easier it is to get the head started. Okay, we've taken all the hooks off the rim except for four hooks at each of the uh, corners. And this, this actually is a 12 inch pot. And we're taking a, a raw cast skin and we've soaked it in a bucket of water for about 15 minutes. And then we take it and we can actually wring it out and it will become very, very pliable. Now you've got to make sure that the cast skin that you're using is at least two, two inches longer on each of the sides. That's because when we go to tuck the head and pull it tight, you need excess head in order to pull it. So this is a 12-inch um, pot, and if I've actually got a 20-inch head here, um, I could use uh, probably a 16 or an 18-inch head, and that would work just fine also. But uh, I just happen to have a 20-inch head, and that will give me a little extra room to uh, pull and tuck. I've laid the uh, wet head down on a flat surface, and now I'm going to place the conic hoop or the stretcher band in the center of it, and then take each part of the head and just kind of fold it over the conic hoop. If you haven't done this before, a lot of times it helps to have an extra set of hands. And right now, you just kind of want to get just a, a basic tuck. As you can see, it's kind of springing back, but that's okay. And that's how we first get started. I've got the, uh, the wet skin folded over the stretcher band. 
Now I'm going to take the rim, turn it over, center it the best I can on the kind of hoop, and then I'll take, and I'll, this is what they refer to as tucking the head. I'm going to pull the pliable head. So the stretcher band is actually on the outside of the rim. I'm pulling the head in, trying to get some of the wrinkles out of it. And that looks pretty good right there. Okay, the head is um, actually initially tucked. We're going to turn the part over. I've got four hooks here that we're going to use later to do our first tightening. Take, take the counter hoop, put the counter hoop over the head. We want to make sure that we put the counter hoop in the right position. And as you can see in this counter hoop right here, the solder joint is down at the back end, so we're going to line it up the tail piece, so the tail piece will cover that solder joint, and then we're going to make sure it fits over the, over the rim, and that's fitting, that's fitting pretty good. Okay, I've got the um, stretcher band equally centered on the rim. I can feel that it's going to push down. There's still a few little wrinkles, but I'm not really worried about those right now. Put the stretcher being back on here. Got it centered. Teal piece. Going to press down a little bit. And then hopefully you'll have enough hook to come up, fit over the stretcher band, and we're going to have to finagle this one a little bit, there we go, okay I've got the one bracket on, so I'm going to go on the other side, place a bracket, or through the bracket, Tighten it up and check it and make sure it's even. Got to be careful you don't torque it down too much because we still have to do some extra pulling to get the wrinkles out. Got to go over here on this side of it. Get this guy going. Okay, and then to the opposite end. We'll get this guy. On the hoop. Get a little pressure. And as you can see, we've got uh, one, two, three, four hooks on there. I'm checking again to make sure that I'm centered. I'm off a little bit. with the uh, tail piece and then we're going to turn it over and we're going to do the pulling part of the operation and this is where you pull the wrinkles out you want to take it and just give it a good strong grab around the entire interior of the pot I'm going to look up here and I see I've got a little wrinkle going on there. So that part's got to be pulled. I'm going to pull that here with a pair of pliers. That wrinkle just about came out. I'm going to have to 